Z Math Heroes. I am Sir Ike, the professor. Welcome to the most awesome, most amazing, and most fantastic way to learn math. Today, we will learn new super skills together with the challenging drills of Super Driller. We will also wander together with Wonder Woman and join the adventure of Super Math. Also, don't forget to take a photo with Bath Math while answering the tasks of Brainstorm. Are you up for the challenge? Fifth graders, this is Mathastic 5. Math heroes, for today's lesson, you will learn how to visualize fractions using models and multiply fractions. Before we begin, we have to revisit some of the mathematical fundamentals that you will be needing today. When it's review time, there is only one person to call. One of your favorite math-tastic heroes, the great Super Driller. Hello, math heroes. Welcome back to the math universe. I am Super Driller, your review hero. For today's challenge, let's revisit the superpower technique of multiplying numbers. Sounds easy, right? Let's begin. Solve for the product mentally. Number 1. 4 times 3 equals n. The answer is 12. Number 2. 5 times 2 equals n. The answer is 10. Number 3. 8 times 9 equals n. The answer is 72. Number 4. 6 times 1 times 5 equals n. The answer is 30. Number 5. 3 times 7 times 2 equals n. The answer is 42. Great job, math heroes! This time, I want you to take a look at the pictures and name the fraction for the shaded parts. Are you ready? Let's go! Number 1. The answer is 3 fourths. Number 2. The answer is 2 fourths or 1 half. Number 3. The answer is 1 fourth. Number 4. The answer is 4 eighths or 1 half. Number 5. The answer is 3 eighths. Did you get all the right answers? Great! See you on your next quest. Math Math in a day! I heard you did great, Math Heroes! You always impress Super Driller with your super power in answering all his drills. But now, allow me to take you on yet another journey. Coming up next is your favorite math adventure time. Are you ready? Math Heroes, it's not a plane, it's not a bird, it's Super Math! I have traveled across the galaxy with the mission to share the most incredible stories to help you understand math better. Math Heroes, let me tell you today's math adventure. Today, the professor is traveling to one of the most famous farms in Negros. The farm is wide enough to be planted with different beautiful trees, plants, and vegetables. The owner of this property bought this 3 fourths hectare land with the purpose of making it one of the biggest vegetable plantations in the province. However, he still don't know yet how to get the right fraction of his land. He talked to the professor and said he wanted to plant one-third of it with vegetables as a start. What part of his land will be planted with vegetables? Math heroes, let's find out and help the farmer count! There you go, math heroes! I just traveled to show you how beautiful the province of Nagros Occidental is. However, there's a farmer who needs our help. To answer this problem, let's apply what you have learned in answering word problems. 
Can you still remember the steps? Great! Let's begin with step 1. Read and understand. In order to help the farmer, let's first identify what is asked. In this case, the part of the 3 fourths hectare land to be planted with vegetables. Question number 2. What are the given facts? Based on the story of Supermath, the given facts are 3 fourths hectare of land and one third which will be planted with vegetables. Step 2. Plan. We need to think of a strategy in order to solve this problem. In this case, we will find one third of three fourths. In order to find that, we have to multiply them. Step three, solve. We will multiply three fourths by one third. But what are the steps in multiplying fractions? Follow these. Step one, multiply the numerators. Three times one is equal to three. Step two, multiply the denominators. Three times four is equal to 12. So, our answer is 3 twelves. Step 3. Reduce the lowest term. To do that, we must find the greatest common factor that can divide both 3 and 12. In this case, 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. And 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Therefore, our answer is 1 fourth. To check if 1 fourth is really the correct answer, we can use our creativity. This time, we will visualize the fractions. But, how do we visualize multiplication of fractions? Multiplication of fraction can be visualized by paper folding, drawing, and illustrations using figures like square models. Look at the drawing and visualize how one-third of three-fourths looks like. If these rectangles represent one hectare, the shaded part represents the piece of land of the farmer which is three-fourths. And if this rectangle represents the land, the shaded part represents one-third which will be planted with vegetables. If one-third will overlap to three-fourths, notice that the rectangle has been divided into 12 squares already and three parts of three-twelfths of it is shaded twice. Therefore, one-third of three-fourths is equal to three-twelfths. The farmer can use three-twelfths of his land in planting his vegetables. As mentioned earlier, if we reduce three-twelfths to its lowest term, the answer is one-fourth. Therefore, our answer is correct. Math Heroes, it's drill time with Super Driller. Math Heroes, are you ready for the drill? Find the product of three-fifths times one-fourth. Step 1. Multiply the numerators. 3 times 1 equals 3. Step 2. Multiply the denominators. 5 times 4 equals 20. So, our answer is 3 over 20. Step 3. Reduce to lowest term. In this case, 3 over 20 is now in its lowest term. Another way to answer this equation is to visualize using the region to find the product of 3 fifths and 1 fourth. The region has been divided vertically into 5 parts of the same size. Therefore, each part is 1 fifth of the whole region. How many 1 fifths are there? Yes, there are 5 1 fifths. Next, what fraction represents the shaded region? 3 fifths represents the shaded part. Now, let's represent 1 fourth in horizontal lines. How many parts are being shaded? That's right, 1. And how many regions are there? Yes, there are 4 regions. So, to multiply these two fractions through visualizing, the next thing that we have to do is combine the two illustrations by overlapping 1 fourth to 3 fifths. And this will be the representation. How many equal parts of the region is being divided? Yes, there are 20 equal parts. How many small shaded regions are there? There are 14 shaded regions. Next, one fourth of the shaded part has been shaded in another direction. How many small regions are shaded twice? In this case, there are three regions shaded twice. Therefore, our answer is correct. 3 over 20. Since out of the 20 regions, 3 of those were shaded twice after combining the illustrated region for 3 fifths and illustrated region for 1 fourth. Math heroes, I'll send you back now to the professor. Math math in a day! Math heroes, this time let's solve for the product of fractions involving whole numbers. Take this as an example. 1 fourth 
times 12 equals n. Step 1. Express the whole number as a fraction with a denominator of 1. Now we have 1 fourth times 12 over 1 equals n. Step 2. Multiply the numerators. 1 times 12 is equal to 12. Step 3. Multiply the denominators. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Our answer is 12 over 4. Step 4. Reduce to lowest term. Let's find the GCF of both 12 and 4. In this case, 4. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Therefore, our final answer is 3 over 1 or 3. Math heroes, to make you further visualize the process, let's solve again the equation using visualization. Let's say that these are the 12 marbles of Che. Che divides her marbles into 4. Each group represents 1 fourth of her 12 marbles. Che gives 1 fourth of her marbles to Arnold. Looking at the illustration, we can say that 1 fourth of 12 is 3. Therefore, Che gave 3 marbles to Arnold. Congratulations, Math Heroes! I am so proud of you! You've done such an incredible job in the math universe. You always show how good you are in every math task. But wait, there's more coming up. Let's wonder together with our wonder hero, the Wonder Woman. math heroes i heard you're all doing well i wonder if you have mastered the skills hmm can you still remember how to visualize multiplication of fractions multiplication of fractions can be visualized by paper folding drawing and illustrations using figures like square models the shaded regions represent the portion or the fractional part of the whole the double shaded region represents the product or the part of the fraction. Dividing and shading helps visualize how multiplication of fraction is done. Well, how about multiplying a fraction and a whole number and another fraction? To multiply a fraction by another fraction, you need to Number 1. Multiply the numerators Number 2. Multiply the denominators Number 3. Reduce to lowest term if possible Number 4. You can also use cancellation method if possible. To multiply a fraction by a whole number, follow these steps. Number 1. Change the whole number to a fraction with 1 as denominator. Number 2. Multiply the numerators. Number 3. Multiply the denominators. Number 4. Express the answer to its lowest term. Great job! All my wonders have been answered! See you again, and remember, never lose your sense of wonder. Math Math in a day! Math Heroes, to make you fully equipped with today's super training, I will give you to the math -tastic hero who is lightning fast in every math task. It's time for the lightning thinking with Brainstorm! Let's begin the lightning thinking. Ready your pens and papers and answer the storm learning task. Math heroes, analyze each drawing. Visualize the answer and draw the answer of the correct illustration. Number 1. Here's the answer. Number 2. The answer is number three. Here's the answer. Math heroes, this time find the product of the multiplication equation. Let's begin. Number one, one half times two thirds is equal to n. The answer is Two sixths or one third. Number two, four fifths times two thirds is equal to n. The answer is eight over fifteen. Number three, three fourths 
times 3 fifths is equal to n. The answer is 9 over 20. Did you get all the right answers? That's great! Congratulations, math heroes! We will see each other in your next quest. Math Math in a Day! Math heroes, it has been a great journey with you. But wait, there's more. To complete our math Mathtastic 5, here's the superhero who loves photography more than anything else. He travels around the math universe looking for hard-working math heroes solving challenging exercises. Look around, he might be taking a picture of you. It's time for Photograph with the Bat Map. After searching every corner of the universe, I present you the math hero of the day, Rinbert of Paranaque City. Show us your true power by sending your picture while watching our Mathtastic 5 episodes in our Facebook page. Just search Mathtastic 5 or post your photos with a hashtag Mathtastic Hero and be featured in our next Mathtastic 5 episodes. Watch out for updates on the social media pages of DepEd TV channel. I am Batmath and I will find you. Do you have what it takes to become a math hero? Be part of the Amazing Heroes League with me, Sir Ike, the Professor, and the remarkable Mathastic Five. Mathastic Five, assemble! <laughs>